multiply by r. Is that possible? Can you just multiply something by r? Can you multiply a whole equation by r? Sure. Yeah, of course we did last week. Oh, it means you're paying attention. <laughs> what a thing. Yes, guys, you can just multiply. If you multiply a whole equation by a variable, it's not changing the equation. So you multiply by r. Now you obtain r squared equals 4. I'm just going to throw the r between, sandwich it between the 4 and the s sign. But by multiplying to r, I'm not changing the equation. But now what I'm doing is I've obtained r squared, which we know is equal to x squared plus y squared. And then r sine of theta, we talked about, is the same thing as y. Now, technically, that is in rectangular form. But that is in gen that's the general form. And I will tell you that we are not really going to be working with the answer choices that are in general form. Your answer choices are going to be in standard form. So what we need to do is we need to write this in standard form. And this is going to be the equation. Let me kind of go over like general idea of the um, equation of in standard form. What we're looking for is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That is the equation of a circle. Right? Remember, you guys learned it in geometry class. You guys learned it in algebra 2. Right? So their vertex is h comma k, and the radius is equal to r. That's why, this, that's why this form is helpful. So how do we go from this form to that form? Well, a couple things we notice. We have binomial squared. Oh, wait a minute. Did we talk about binomial squared before? Yeah, I think chapter 2. right? Does anybody remember the process to go from something to a trinomial to creating a binomial squared? Starts with complete and ends with square. Just throw in a the, right? Completing the square. So to complete the square, when you have two variables, group the terms together. Group all the x's and all the y's. OK, so I have my x terms and I have my y terms. Now, does x squared, do I really have to complete the square with x squared? Do I have to do anything with x squared? Do I have a b in terms of x? Do I have a b? What is b in this case? b. ax squared plus bx. Is there a x? No. So my b is technically 0. So I can't really complete the square here. What about this one? Remember we take b divided by 2 and square it. What is my b in this case? What's my linear term? What's y? What's the coefficient of that? Negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2, square it. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is equal to 4. Now, if you remember, on completing the square, you add it inside the parentheses to create a perfect square trinomial. But you just can't add something on an equation. You can multiply on both sides. That's fine. But you just can't add something on one side and not do it on the other, right? Notice how I multiplied an r on both sides. So there's really nothing I can do with my x squared here. Um, now I have y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals plus 4 over there, right? Or you could just write 4. You don't need to write plus 4. And again, guys, the whole purpose of this, what I just did, is by adding my b divided by 2 squared, I created a perfect square trinomial. And what's nice about perfect square trinomial is remember that worksheet I gave you guys when I was gone, right? All those factor practice? This was on there. This was one of those factoring ones. Does anybody remember what this is factored? x minus, you always take the middle term, x minus, or y minus 2 squared. So we have x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4. Now if you guys compare it to this format, do we know what h and k is and what r is? This isn't really the question. This would, this would be your answer I'm asking for. But let's just play, let's just get to the next level. What is my, what is my h and my k? h is 0, and my k is? Close. It's y minus k, so this is y minus two. So it's so my set or my point is h comma two, and my radius is good. So let's go and look on a calculator, see if that's right. So why don't you guys type in your calculator um, r, r equals four sine of theta. See if that looks like a circle with a center.